bar is open. So let's do the review of the duvet. Hey there, SG Alcohol Guy here, making use of my Wines and Spirits certification, which includes a course on beers to give you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And today I'm really excited to try this because I'm having the Duvel Belgian Strong Blonde. And Duvel actually means the devil in Dutch. So if you look at the back, you'll see that, you know, there's actually a picture of the devil, well, surfing. And I love how, you know, the bottle feels in your hand. It just, you just grip it really well. Uh, but of course, I'm not gonna drink from the bottle. I'm gonna pour it in the glass because I'm classy. And the class Amy got a bottle of the Duvel at six fifty Singapore dollars. And for that, I get a three hundred and thirty ml bottle with an eight point five percent alcohol content. That's also the reason why I'm really excited to try this Belgian beer. Also, the reason I picked up uh, this bottle is because it came from a viewer request in the comments section from one of the earlier reviews. So, you know, if you have a beer that you're interested in, and I did receive quite a number of requests already, if I can get my hands on this, I'll definitely be buying one for a review. So I just want to state that all my reviews are based on my opinions and my personal, you know, taste preferences. Uh, it's not really a standard in the industry, it's just what I feel. But enough chit chat, let's see how it looks, smells, and tastes. As usual, when I pour my beers, I like to ensure that there's a lot of foam in the glass. Uh, this ensures two things. Number one, this tells me that, you know, how, how the finish is going to be. And number two, you know, with the foam in the glass, it doesn't come up in my stomach, so it leaves me a lot less bloated. And as I'm pouring it, it's a beautiful head of foam. Uh, there's actually still some, a little bit of balance left in the bottle. I don't want to dirty my table. So I'm, I'm letting it sit for a little bit. This actually gives me a good indication that the finish could be quite some time. It could be quite a long finish. So let's see whether that's true. Color-wise, you know, it's a very cloudy beer. It's like I actually see some sediments um, at the bottom of the glass as well. It's more like an ale kind of beer rather than a lager or a pilsner. I can't really read this language, so I can't tell you exactly what beer it is. You know, so there's not much English in it except for the uh, ingredients, which is water, barley malt, sugar, hops, and yeast. And with that, the smell is actually fruity. It, it has a very nice fruity smell for an ale. Uh, it doesn't have a very bitter, bitter note. It just smells really pleasant and easy on the mouth. In fact, the smell actually lingers in my nostril a little bit. I'm very surprised by that. Loving it so far. But we won't know a beer until we taste it. So, taste test. Drinking this Duvel Belgian Strong Blonde, it gives me a feel like this is what people were drinking in taverns and inns maybe two, three hundred years ago. I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't taste very refined. It just tastes rough and strong. It, it tastes like, you know, I should be picking up a sword and, and going into battle after this drink. There's that gritty uh, bitterness at the back of my tongue. Uh, while I don't smell the bitterness, I don't feel it, I taste it a lot and it's slowly making its way down my throat. It's gradually coming down as well and it's a very enjoyable sensation. Ingredients say that they added some sugar. I think that's just to mitigate the, the bitterness. But hand on my heart, I don't really taste much else around my tongue. Although the malt now is slowly appearing in the middle of my tongue. So there's actually some layers to this beer. It started bitter, finishing bitter. It's still bitter here, but the malt just started to appear and, and manifest in my tongue. So for 650 Singapore dollars per bottle, I will tell you that this is an excellent purchase. I think I've ordered this once at a local pub, but because I was drinking multiple drinks, uh, plus having a lot of greasy food, so I can't really remember the taste. Now that I have it, it's coming back in my mind, and this washed away all the greasiness that I had that night. This is fantastic value for money. Hey, thanks for watching up to this point. 
again, I like to stress that you know this uh, review, this honest review, is based on my personal opinions and taste preferences. So I actually look forward to you leaving your comments and letting me know what you think of the Duvel, Belgian strong beer. And since you've made it here, do help me click on the like button, uh, do help me click on the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. What it does is it lets you know uh, of new videos that I have released and I upload two new videos every week. And as always, happy drinking!